Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We're back with more Terraria, the Epic Mod Pack Season 8. As a quick reminder, remember we do have two seasons going on at the same time. This is Season 8 that you're watching right now. <clears throat> and we have a Season 8.5, which is a new character and a new world. Links in the description if you want to go check out my secondary channel where I'm posting those videos. So let's go ahead and continue. Ah, oh, nice. Check it out. Right there. We got our first freaking chest waiting to open. Uh, we got a dart trap. Not sure how useful the dart trap will be this season, but I did remember, and I don't know if you guys remember along with me. I should have put these gold away, but um, we did actually need a dart trap last season, along you know along with a geyser and a pressure plate, and that was specific to um, a expedition quest. Expeditions. I don't believe, I think we can do expeditions quest, but I'm not sure if we can turn it in or anything. A hey, first life crystal hypo. That's really good. Let's see. Oh, you can make a lot of stuff. What's that? Crystallized crystal heart from Trilamium. Trilamium. Consumable. Cause the crystalline forces. If you don't beat this boss fast enough, it will flee. Ancient manipulator. Dang, that's not going to be for another 100 episodes. Feels bad. Hardened heart. There's a lot of cool stuff, man. Uh, summons the heater of worlds. I like how you can make a life root out of it. <laughs> That's actually interesting. All right, here we go. Mm, ugh, give me that HP upgrade. Uh, okay, let's keep going. This is a golden chest. I likes. All right, please. Double jump. The most useful one right now. Okay. Let's see. Do I need anything else here? No. Ooh, I'll take this Jerry thing. Give me that Hornet statue, aka Jerry thing. <gasps> Ooh, cloud in a bottle. Game knows what's up. I'll tell you guys that. Game knows what's going on. Double jump. What do I want to get rid of? I mean, it's very minute what we end up, you know, switching out at the moment. Um, but I will uh, change out the piercing quartz, and I might as well trash it. So I don't think it's that useful. It's a 5% increase, but there's so many good items to be using besides that. Good utility items, etc. Is that iron ore right here? I have to check if it is. I got to be grabbing it. Uh, yes. Ores. Or silver or something. Look at that. What, what is the heck is this? It's a captive mask? Oh my god. It says it's a mask, but it looks like a, a little eyeball. Did you drop anything good, bro? Nothing? Not even money? Okay. Be that way. Uh, which way should I go? Left or right? Left is a little more, you know, off the beaten track. Hmm. Eh, let's go right. It's a nice open area. We might find some actual stuff. Let's be careful not to get destroyed by boulders. Not very um, good memories from boulders, I have to say. And uh, I, I got to make sure I watch my jump, too. Also, not very good memories of the random dynamite jumps. With, you know, jumping on top of the uh, the trigger, exploding a huge vein. Ugh. All right, give me this iron ore here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Mmm, bunch. Which, oh. Okay, so iron ore is just useful in general. And, um, you know, we are going to be having a bunch of money. But I don't remember when the NPC moves in that sells the ore. So I have to grab it. As much as possible at the moment. Wee! You guys like my reds mask, by the way? Alright, let's keep going here. Ooh, what we got? Mm, nothing useful, I guess. There's a, some weird ore here from the Tremor mod. And it, it is. I'm trying to hover over it. won't let me know what it is. Why not? Hmm. Calamity one. See, so I'm hovering over this one, and it tells me it was Aerialite. But that one's not telling me what it is, and I don't know why. Maybe I'm not close enough, but then again, I see the pot, so I don't know. What's your guys' damage, by the way? It's eight each. Summons an ember to fight for you. Pretty weak ember. Silt blocks. Might as well grab some right now. All right, you see this? We are now in the cavern layer. Or underground. I forget which one comes first. I think it's underground and then cavern. Ca cavern. We're in the cavern layer, everybody. Maybe new enemies might spawn, but we're here for the treasure and the ores. Let's see, I have a bunch of ebon wood platforms. All right, let's keep our eyes peeled. What was that? Did you guys hear that? I think I heard some sort of explosion. Hold on. Oh, these guys, yeah, these guys are attacking something. All right, okay, this ore, Trilamium. Do I see what it is? It's the shroom, shroom tomium. Oh, uh, that's, that's a little crappy because it actually has the same color, almost the same, ow, ow. Almost the same color as um, the water. Here's a gemstone cluster from the Trilamium. Critical strike. Yeah, look at that. You got to combine. Ah! Ah! 
freaking Azerite bat? What the heck? Dude, we're seeing way too many new enemies and stuff. Oh, we're gonna have to head up soon and, you know, just freaking get rid of this stuff. Hello, let's put this uh, nice little torch down there so I can grab the silk block. I have no way of seeing what's underwater. No, no, scratch that. I do have the water bolt. Look at this. Oh, I can't get that, darn it. All right, where do I want to go here? Should not have done this. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Better put a rope down so I can get up here. Oh, crap. I messed up. Yeah, but, but, but. Okay, I gotta dig through this. <gasps> Shroom Tomium. There you go. There you go. I didn't know you can get that. That's cool. God, we have too much stuff. Can be placed. Or we can turn it into a Shroom Tomium bar. And turn this into a scythe. Are you kidding me? You have an ore down here that takes up the space of other ores and stuff. And you can make a bar, but you only make one item out of it. And it doesn't do anything. Ah, this is the problem I have with adding like lots of random mods people want me to add. It's just sometimes it's not the best. Like, what? Don't, like, don't bother. I'm sorry, but like, don't bother putting this in if it's just like one little thing. Eh, uh, that's, I'm gonna quick, that's just gonna go away. It's just another like thing to like not even look for. All right. Okay, here we go. Good, thank God for the auto trash though. If we didn't have the auto trash, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, oh my God. I would be having, having to freaking manually trash it every single time. Boo-hoo, we're gonna manually trash stuff. I know, right? We're so spoiled in Terraria now, guys. We have we have all these um, quality of life mods, which thank God we have. But it's like, I remember playing it vanilla a long time ago. Mmm, Azerite. Do we even need that, by the way? Bismite crystals. We're kind of full on items. I might have to head back now. We'll come back. We got like a bunch of items. A good amount of um, iron ore. I guess we keep going very slightly though. Oh, look at this freaking shroomite. That's not shroomite, is it? Oh no, the shroomite's blue. No, it is blue. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Shroomite, get on my face, shroomite. We don't need you. Oh, nice. That's really good. Uh, eh. Nice. All right, let's take a peek at what's here. Maybe we can find some quick heart crystals. I, I gotta like, I can't see what's going on. Pew! Heart crystals, heart crystals, let's go. I hope it's gonna follow the track from now. Uh, I love these minecart tracks, they're very useful. What the hell is that? This is Lunarian ore. I'm gonna assume we can't even pick that up now. It has a really crazy texture. That's interesting. All right, we have, ooh, Bloodroot. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there's a chest on the right, guys. I have to go, I have to get that. We'll get that and we'll head back. All right, the Bloodroot. Do we need a hardened sandstone? No, we don't need this at all. Good night. Give me that freaking blood orange brute. We're gonna be used to uh, give to the, the cook once he pops up in our world. Okay, let's grab this chest. We're gonna head back. And then we're gonna start building our house. I'm not sure out of what though. Like I said, some sort of crazy castle. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. More iron. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I, I see, I hear an explosion though. I don't know what it is. It, it must be this thing. The angry bat. I, I can't see its name. He's moving way too fast. Whatever that thing is, he's going crazy. Uh, give me those iron ore. Give me, give me, give me. Red's Fury. Ooh. This hat, though. What is this hat from? It's from the Tremor. Red. It's probably like, um, uh, probably the developer of, um, you, you guys probably know, right? The developer of the Tremor mod? Cool, man. We are impersonating a dev. A mod dev. All right, look at this right here. What is that? What is this? Oh, it's just the background. It looked really weird. I thought that was a new structure or something. What is this? It's an angry geode. Oh yeah, you gotta explode there, buddy. You gotta do all that stuff. I got a cluster token, gemstone cluster again. Nice. What, oh, we got a secondary one. That's some gold and dynamite. Our uh, damage. All right. I can't even put it on a vanity. I won't hold on to it. Do I need to hold on to it though? Do we need more than one? I don't think so, and it's not even hard to craft, so I don't think we need a secondary one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of it. I know it's like, oh, he's doing, he's getting rid of it, but we really, really don't need it. I don't think so. Um, gold bar, I do want. I guess I'll leave the mud block here for now. Oh, I'll get rid of it. Dynamite. Get rid of a chain for now. I don't want to grab this. For more inventory space back home. Oh, we might not even need it. Remember, we could make something like on the magic storage thing. I do want to bring a bookcase. I know that's very useful. So, we'll just leave the clay here for now. I'm not going to auto-trash it forever because we might need it. 
Um, and we'll also be on trashing one mushroom. <laughs> one mushroom? No, not the one mushroom. Okay. Let's go back. Let's us head back home. Oh, cool. It's nighttime. We're going to be fighting a lot of enemies here. All right. Let's, let's get rid of a lot of stuff here that we don't want to use at the moment. And then... Actually, I should keep... No, 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 no. I'll keep this on my inventory just to remind myself, hey, I need that NPC to move in. Also get rid of all this stuff. Okay. So let's see. What do I want to make my house out of? Well, a good indicator is usually something you can get a lot of. So it's either going to be wood or stone at the moment. I was thinking of getting the bricks from the dungeon, but it's going to be a while since we can, you know, grab that. Unless we bomb the crap out of it. Um, but then we don't even have that NPC. Altar of creation. So let's see. I have stone, right? Is there any, like, new modded item I can make out of it? Copper plating, tin plating, asphalt, um, gray brick, copper brick, brick, silver brick. Silver brick, tin brick, obsidian. There's a lot of different bricks you can make. That's pretty cool. Green stucco. Wow, you gotta make green thread for that, huh? All right, what do I want my house to be made out of? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Something very easy to get. And something that looks a little bit, you know, off-center. Shroomite plating. Ah, from the shroomite bars, of course. I'm thinking. I'm thinking here. We could make what is the heck is that recycler of matter allows to convert hard mode metals into their alternatives which is very useful what the heck is this smith a sigil okay a lot of weird stuff here all right most likely gonna be some sort of wood oh you know what we should do we should make it out of this wood over here i should oh, let's see yeah 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 that's what we'll do uh, i'm gonna be Placing a bunch of... I mean, there's like no trees here. It's all sand. It's all sand. If I want to get any of the corrupted trees here, we're gonna actually going to have to go maybe here. Ah, yes. We're going to have to do all that. Hey, he's still chilling over there. So, yes. I've never made my house out of ebon wood. So, we'll do that. It will have some sort of crazy necromantic, you know, type of building. It's going to be cool. So, that means i got to run back over there. But no problem. We'll fast forward this. So, hey... Let's do this. Please enjoy this montage. It's the first, the first montage of the season. So, here we go. What's up, everybody? Wow, that was that went a little bit longer than I anticipated. 
Um, so l actually, please let me know in the comments. Do you guys enjoy these montages? Actually, better yet, if you do, can I get a montage hype in the description below? If you guys, in the description, in the comment section below, just type out, you know, montage hype if you enjoy these. All right, let's keep going. So since we're here, and we got an okay amount of Evidwood. I don't know if you guys are checking it out, but I was replanting all that stuff. Uh, once we end up getting like a seed or something so we can spread our own corruption biome, I'll probably have a special biome just right at the house. So why are we back? Why are we back here? Should have brought my water walking with me, but it's okay. I'm going to run all the way straight down there using at least sea essence. <laughs> Using at least our double jump, and we're gonna try to get that one that we missed right here. That freaking water chest. All right, let's go. Going in. Okay, that little bit of extra health I just got, sh you know, using a double jump should provide us with enough time to at least open and check out that water thing. Should be good enough. I can't see what's ahead of me, so I'm gonna have to go ahead. I don't have the shine potion, which is not good. I might run into some enemies here. I could use a hunter potion. Uh, I think I'll wait on that. Okay, here we go. So please. Just, I, I want to be able to open this thing up. Uh, oh god, oh my god, I can't see. I can't see the thing. I can't see. Where's the potion? Where's that potion? I'm not gonna make it, boys. I'm not. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. What? I didn't lose any gold. <laughs> I didn't lose any gold. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. I'm not going back for that, I'll tell you that. Mistakes were made. Let's move on. Alright, so let's put all this stuff away. Ooh, don't worry, guys. They hurt me more than it hurt you. Let's just say that. Don't worry about it. Okay, I picked up a goodie bag and I picked up some presents. Now, people might be wondering, hey, is it like Halloween time? Is it Christmas time? No, um, I don't know what mod, ad what mod adds it, but it's just bringing the different variants here so I can able to get the stuff. I got a sugar cookie. That's pretty cool. And a goodie bag. We got ourselves the Bride of the Frankenstein mask and the Bride of the Dress. Oh my god, that actually looks pretty crazy. I'm going to use this. It's a monster mash. The monster mash. All right, time for one more quick montage, and this is going to be me making the freaking thing. So, here we go. Um, let's see. We're going to do some sort of necromatic thing. So, let's go. All right, guys, well, I have finished the basic outline of what I kind of want my amazing necromantic house to pretty much look like. So here is the basic idea of what I have built. Um, some of you might remember this type of building from, um, I believe it was uh, season six or five. It was season five where I did the mage class. I did some sort of magical tree where all my NPCs can live in. Now we're doing the opposite, some sort of death tree where everyone can live in. It's gonna be amazing. What the hell is that? I see you from the juice mod. Very freaking weird and interesting. 
Okay, so pretty much we're going to need a lot more ebon wood to deal with this, but at least we have a place where we can put down our initial items, you know, and start working on the likes of... Oh my god, look at these things just all over the place. Looking some things such as um, uh, magic storage, which I really, really want to work towards. I'm going to have to look up how to do it. Uh, I'm not going to just try to figure it out here. So we will be working on there. So the houses are perfect. And, oh my god, look at these fools. <laughs> And once we get the magic storage ready up and running, I'm going to make a boss arena. Now, I decided to make this place a little bit more to the left. I was going to do it here in the middle. But I want my boss arena to be pretty far away. So the boss arena, right over there. It's going to be amazing. And then we'll have lots of room for different biomes to craft. So look at that. It looks pretty evil already. Hey, it looks like that one evil robot from uh, Futurama. You guys know what I mean. All right, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Ooh, Blacklands. It helps a lot. It helps a lot. Please leave a like, it helps. And if you haven't already, subscribe for daily videos. Upload them every single day. You guys know that. And once again, if you do enjoy these montages and wanna see more, please montage hype in the comments below. Don't forget, there is also season 8.5 going along beside this one on the Mobby vs. Games VOD channel. Please, link in the description. Check that out. New character, new world, whole different type of style of gameplay. So that was it. That was fun. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.